Hello everyone, Yellen to Namaskara. Welcome to Udan Nipak YouTube channel. Now I will be discussing the most important uh, that is question paper of midterm examination September 2024 of mathematics subject. Let us begin our discussion on that. Subject code is 81E and you can find what SSLC Summary Assessment 1 for the academic year 2024-25 it is mathematics paper and you know already 38 questions will be having and maximum 15 minutes sir. Uh, you will get to read the question paper remaining 3 hours is to write and 15 minutes is to read now uh, this is the part 3 of my discussion okay remember this is the part 3 of my discussion in the part 1 i have discussed all 1 and 2 mark question in part 2 i have discussed all 3 mark question and this part 3 i will be discussing all the remaining questions that is 4 and 5 mark questions okay so let us begin our discussion on this okay so if you want to get access to previous videos, kindly get into the previous videos in order to get access to the question number 1 to question number 33. Okay. Now from the 34, all the questions will be solved. See, a fraction becomes 4 by 5 if 1 is added to numerator. If 1 is subtracted from the denominator of original fraction, then the fraction becomes 3 by 4. Find the fraction. See, a fraction becomes 4 by 5. See, first what we should do is let the fraction be. Let the fraction b what we should do is let the fraction b x by y x is what here numerator and y is what denominator then we said what a fraction becomes 4 by 5 when see this fraction x by y will become 4 by 5 when when 1 is added to the numerator only to the numerator if you add 1 then it will become 4 by 5 that is the statement 1 if 1 is subtracted from denominator so suppose this is x by y Okay, if 1 is subtracted from denominator, see y is denominator, 1 is subtracted uh, from the denominator of the original fraction, then the fraction becomes 3 by 4. So, this x by y is original fraction, if you subtract 1, it will become 3 by 4, you should find the fraction. So, I hope you got, you got to know how we got this. Okay, now what you should do is, you should form two equations and by elimination method, you should solve them. So, how to do? So, this 5 will, uh, y will go here, 5 will come here. So, 5 into x plus 1 equal to 4 into y. So, multiply this. 5 into x is 5x, 5 ones are 5. Here it is 4y. Take 4y here. So, 5x minus 4y equal to minus 5. Okay. This minus 5 will, this 5 will become minus. This is equation 1. Okay. Then, you transfer 4 here and this here. So, 4 into x is equal to 3 into y minus 1. Multiply this to both. 4x is equal to 3y minus 3. Then you take y here. 4x minus 3y equal to minus 2. So this is equation 2. Next what you should do is you should solve elimination method. So take the two equations. 5x minus 4y equal to minus 5. 4x minus 3y equal to minus 3. This is how you should solve. Then multiply 5 here and multiply 4 here. Okay. Then multiply to all the terms. 4 5s are 20. 4 4s are 16. 5 4s are 20. Again, 5 4s are 20. 5 3s are 15. 5 3s are 15. Minus, plus, plus. So always this will get what? Cancel. Now minus 16 plus 15 is minus 1y. Here, how much it will be? Minus 5. Okay, see minus 20 plus 15 is minus 5. Minus minus cancel 1 into y is y. So y is 5. So you got answer as what? y equal to 5. Then next step what you should do is substitute y equal to 5 in equation 1. So what is equation 1 now? Equation 1 is the stupid. That is 5x minus 4y equal to minus 5. So 5x minus 4. y is how much? 5 equal to minus 5. Then what you should do is you multiply this. 5x minus 20 equal to minus 5. This one you send here. 5x equal to minus 5 plus 20. So it is 15. So x is equal to how much? 5 ones are 5 threes are. x is equal to 3. So we got x3 and y5 is your answer. Therefore, the fraction is what? Therefore, the fraction, the fraction is x by y. So x is 3, y equal to 5. So we got the same, uh, we answer as 3 by 5 is your answer. So if you got 3 by 5, you will fetch what? 4 mark for this. Okay. I hope you got how to do this. Because 4 mark sums, you require what? Much time. And there is no all question here. It requires a compulsory question to solve. 
Next, coming to question number 35, it is having all, both questions will try to solve. Okay. See the area of rectangular plot is 528 meters square. So, what we are telling is there is a rectangle and in that rectangle ABCD, okay, area is how much? Area of rectangle is 528 meter square. That is the question. Then the length of the plot is one more than twice its breadth. See, let the length be L, breadth be B. Latch, length B, L, and breadth B, B. Like this, first you should solve. Then area you know. See what is area formula? Area equal, area is 528. And you know what is area of rectangle? Area of rectangle is what? Area of rectangle is equal to length into breadth. It is 528. And what with this set next is the length of a rectangular plot. See the length of the plot that means L is means equal to sign. 1 means 1 more than this positive. Twice its breadth. Twice means 2 times. 2 times its breadth. So L is equal to 1 plus 2B. You will get the equation. So L is equal to how much will you get? 1 plus 2B. So L is equal to 1 plus 2B is one more equation. Now in place of L you substitute this. Okay. So 1 plus 2b and here I write b equal to 528. Next what you do? Multiply to both. b 1s are b, 2b square equal to 528. Now we arrange to form one quadratic equation. So 2b square plus b minus 528 equal to 0. Now you should do what? You should multiply this and this. See minus 528 into 2. 8 to the 16, 2 to the 4 on 5, 5 to the 10. Yes, so you should split in such a way, you should get what, uh, we are your answer. So how to start? So 2 5s are 10, 2 2 is 4, 2 8s are 16. Then 2 2 is 4, 2 6s are 12, okay, 2 4 is 8, 2 1s are 2 3s are 2 2 is 2 6s are 2 6s are 2 3s are, then uh, 11 3, 3 11 is are, okay, sorry, I write here what, I am just showing you how to solve this. 3, 11s are, 11, 3s are. Now you should then, uh, sorry, 11, 1s are, you come, okay. 11, 1s are. Now you see which table will you, you watch, 1 should come, positive 1. See 11, 3s are 33, uh, then 2, 2s are 4, 4, 2, 8 to the 16, to the 30, here 32, and here you get 33. So 33, 32s are, you will get. So how to split this 528? I just write here, see 1, 0, 5, 6, you can write it as what? 33, 32 is up. This should be positive. Why? Because this is plus, so positive. This is B, this is negative, this is B square, and this is negative. Okay. Now, just after splitting this, see 2B square plus B, you can write it as, see, plus 33 minus 32 is plus 1B. Okay. So it is plus 33B minus 32B minus 528 equal to 0. Then, what is common in this two? You should take. See in this only b is common, so it is 2b plus 33 minus, so then 16 is common, 2b minus into minus will become plus 33 equal to 0. Then you can see this sign, this term are common, that is 2b plus 33, b minus 16 equal to 0, this term equal to 0 or this term equal to 0. So 2b plus 33 equal to 0, that is 2b equal to minus 33, b equal to minus 33 by 2. But this one is what? Rejected. Why? Because this one is rejected, the distance cannot be negative. Then b minus 16 equal to 0, b equal to 16. So now this is accepted, therefore breadth is how much? Breadth b is equal to 16 meter, length is 1 more than twice breadth. So 1 more than twice, breadth is almost 16, so it is 1 plus 32, it is 33 meter. So like this you should be able to watch, solve this one, you will get the length is 16 and you will, sorry, you will get length is 33 and you will get breadth is what, 16. So like this you should be able to solve this one, okay. So coming to the next one, okay, I, I hope you are finding it helpful, yes. So see the sum of squares of uh, uh, two consecutive to positive integers is, 365 find those integers. This one was most easy compared to the previous one, but I will be solving to this. See the sum of squares of two consecutive positive integers. So, how to find sum of squares? See here. Uh, see, 
what are consecutive positive integers see consecutive positive integers are the numbers which are uh, adjacent to each other 1 2 3 4 5 consecutive numbers the numbers which are uh, continuously formed okay let let the two the two positive consecutive integers be x and x plus 1 that is the that is how we should know x and x plus 1 then there is such sum of squares that means you should add and you should square so sum of squares is 365 what we have said sum of squares is equal to 365 add this x plus x plus 1 then you should square them. it is 365 here you can see you can use what x plus 1 the whole square that is a plus b the whole square formula here because it is binomial what is a plus b the whole square a square plus 2ab plus b square okay this one you should by heart now x square write as it is x square only then what you do plus a plus b the whole square a square plus 2ab plus b square equal to 365 then x square plus x square will be how much line terms which is 2x square it is 2 ones are 2 plus 1 it is uh, i just take this here it will be minus 365 equal to 0 2x square okay i'll just uh, see here 2x square plus 2x minus 364 equal to 0 divide all by what 2 2 to cancel x square 2 to cancel 1x 2 ones are 2 eights are 2 twos are 182 twos are you will get so you will get how much 182 now how to get 182 factors if you don't know just take 182 to find the factors how to find 2 nines are 2 ones are 13 7 is are 7 ones are see here 7 twos are 14 14 13 are you will get so how can you split this how can you split this see minus 182 x square is written as 14 13 is up. this is positive and this is negative x square plus 14x minus 13x minus 182 equal to 0. So what all is common? Just check. Here x is common x plus 14. Here minus 13 is common x plus 14. Then you take x plus 14 here and here x minus 13 equal to 0. This term equal to 0 or this term equal to 0. So x plus 14 equal to 0 or x minus 13 equal to 0 x is equal to minus 14 or x is equal to plus 13 they are positive therefore this is rejected why because the question itself is positive see x is positive therefore the consecutive integers are what x and x plus 1 if x is 13 13 plus 1 is how much 14 so product of uh, uh, square sum of squares of them is what 365 okay i hope you got this one Okay, now coming to the next one that is uh, uh, this and this 37, 38, I see before going to 36, 37 is what? Triple A theorem. Okay, to prove that if two triangles corresponding angles are equal, that their corresponding sides are in same ratio of proportion. I hence two triangles are similar. See, when you solve this, you will get what answer as 2, comma 2. See, you will get what intersecting lines and they will intersect at 2, comma 2. So, this is graphical method, you know. Okay, I will be solving up to question number 36. Okay. So what is question number 36 now? Okay. Just uh, sorry. Uh, hmm. Question number 36 I will be uh, doing now. So let us begin with that. What is question number 36? See in an AP, an AP consists of 30 terms. That they share that what uh, n is what 30. The sum of its first term is 185. That means less than 10 is how much? 185. And 21st term. A21 is 15 more than, more than is positive, 15 more than 16 term. Find the sum of the terms of AP. That means you should find what? Yes, 30 you should find. That is the question. Now, how to do this one? See, yes, 10, yes, 10. How can you write? See, 10 by 2, this one, first one, I'll write this. Okay, there are two equations here. Okay, so keeping those two equations in mind, you should be able and you should be capable to solve this one. So how to do just uh, check, see here it is 10 by 2, 2a plus 10 minus 1 into d equal to 185. Then the a21, what is a21 tell me? 
Yes. So it is 185. A 21 is A plus 20 D. Then equal to 15 plus A plus 15 D. Now take all on left side. A plus 20 D. Take this A left side. Take this uh, D 15 D equal to 15. A and A will get cancelled. 20 minus 15 is 5 D. So this 5 will come from 5 ones are 5 3 is D is how much? 3. So we got D equal to 3. Substitute here. See 2 ones are 2 5 are. It will be 5. Okay. Then what will you get? This is 2 into A 2 A plus 9. D we already know. Just now we found it is 3 equal to 185. So how much it is? This 5 will come down. Okay. This 5 will come down. It is 2A plus 27 is equal to 185 by 5. So 5 3 is a 15. 5 7 is a 35. See 2A equal to 37 minus 27. It is 10. So 2A is 10. 2 1s are 2 5s are 10. A equal to 5. So we got A and D. But we should find what S30. So what is the formula for S30? See S formula is N by 2. 2A plus N minus 1 into D. So S30 is equal to 30 by 2. 2A. A is 5. D is 3. Okay. Uh, just a second. See here. A is 5. 30 minus 1. D is 3. 2 1s are 2. 15 are. This is 15. 5 2s are 10. This is 29 into 3. So 15. 10 plus 9 3 is 27. 3 2 is 6, 7, 8. So 15 into how much it is? 97. Okay. So how much it is? 15 uh, 7 is up. Uh, yes, 1 not 5. Okay. Then 15 9 is 135 is 145. So you will get how much? 1455 as yes 30. So this is how you should find it. See if you are finding it helpful, kindly like, share and subscribe so that I can come up with more such initiatives. Thank you and take care.